Hello and welcome to the BA Knowledge Share. In this episode, we will cover the next core competency on, in Chapter 9 of the Baybalk Guide. The core competency here is interaction skills. So without further ado, let's get started. So the Baybalk defines interaction skills um, by the business analyst's ability to relate, cooperate, and communicate with different kinds of people, including executives. Uh, sponsors, colleagues, team members, developers, vendors, learning and development professionals, end users, customers, and subject matter experts. Business analysts are uniquely positioned to facilitate stakeholder communication, provide leadership, encourage comprehension of solution uh, value, and promote stakeholder support of the proposed changes. Interaction skills core competencies include facilitation, leadership and influencing, teamwork, negotiation and conflict resolution, as well as teaching. Let's dive into those core competencies a little bit further. So let's look at facilitation. The purpose behind facilitation is to facilitate interactions between stakeholders in order to help them make a decision, solve a problem, exchange ideas and information or reach an agreement regarding the priority and the nature of the requirements. The definition is the skill of moderating discussions within a group in order to enable all participants to effectively articulate their views on a topic under discussion. So as an example, as a business analyst, you may be um, required to schedule your elicitation sessions. Part of that requirement is to kind of have the ability to communicate your thoughts and ideas, help facilitate exchange of ideas and thoughts in those meetings. So essentially this uh, competency is saying that uh, you as a business analyst um, should have the ability to facilitate um, any sort of exchange of ideas, be, be it through meetings, through sort of the nonverbal uh, communication. Um, so that's essentially what it's saying. Some of the effectiveness measures of facilitation include making it clear to the participants that the facilitator is a third party to the process and not a decision maker, nor the owner of the topic. Encouraging participation from all attendees. Remaining neutral and not taking ID, uh, sides, but at the same time being impartial and intervening when required in order to make suggestions and offer insights. Established ground rules such as being open to suggestions, building on what is there. Ensuring that participants in a discussion correctly understand each other's positions. Using meeting management skills and tools to keep discussions focused and organized preventing discussions from being sidetracked into irrelevant topics, and understanding and considering all parties and interests, motives, and objectives. The second core comp competency is leadership and influencing. Business analysts use leadership and influencing skills when guiding stakeholders during the investigation of business analysis, information and solution options. They build cons consensus and encourage stakeholder support and collaboration during uh, change. Now, leadership is not only being like a senior VP of an organization or even for that matter, CEO. Any sort of role can take on a leadership position. So project managers take on leadership positions. Business analysts take on more of a leadership skill um, in order to guide stakeholders through the change. The business analyst's responsibilities for defining, analyzing, and communicating uh, business analysis information um, provides opportunities for leadership and influencing whether or not there are people formally reporting to the business analyst. Three effectiveness measures uh, of the effectiveness measures are reduced resistance to necessary changes, articulation of a clear and inspiring vision of a desired future state, success in inspiring others to turn vision into action, influence the stakeholders to understand mutual interests, Effective use of collaboration techniques to influence others, influence on stakeholders to consider broader objectives over personal motivations, and reframing issues so alternate perspectives can be understood and accommodated to influence stakeholders towards shared goals. Teamwork is the third core competency. Teamwork skills allow business analysts to work productively with team members, stakeholders, and any other vested partners so that the solutions can be effectively developed and implemented. Some of the definitions are 
is um, and the definition of teamwork is relationships with people in those roles are a critical part of the success of any project or enterprise. So as part of the team with other business analysts, business analysts, project managers, stakeholders, and subject matter experts, uh, business analysts work to make the team cohesive. So essentially they work to build and maintain uh, trust of teammates, um, which then contributes to the integrity of the team. So from a success or effectiveness measurements perspective, um, should include fostering a collaborative work environment, effectively resolving conflict, developing trust among team members, support among the team for shared high standards of achievement, and promoting a shared sense of ownership of the team goals. The fourth core competency um, under interaction skills is negotiation and conflict resolution. So occasionally, uh, business analysts are required to mediate negotiations between stakeholders in order to reach a common understanding or an agreement. Now, during this process, business analysts help resolve conflicts and differences of opinion with the intent of maintaining and strengthening working relationships among stakeholders and team members. The negotiation and conflict resolution involves mediating discussions between participants in order to help them recognize that there are differing views on the topic resolve differences and reach conclusions that have the agreement of all participants. Some of the effectiveness measures are a planned approach to ensure that the negotiation takes into account the tone of the voice, the conveyed attitude, the methods used, and the concern for others' sides, feelings, and needs, the ability to recognize that the needs of the parties are not always in opposition, and that it is often possible to satisfy both parties without either side losing, an objective approach to ensure the problem is separated from the person so that the real issues are debated without damaging working relationships, and the ability to recognize the effective negotiation and conflict resolution are not always achieved in a single autonomous meeting. The last uh, competency is teaching. Now, believe it or not, you may think of, not think of yourself as a teacher, but as a business analyst, you're basically um, teaching skills um, help the help business analysts effectively communicate business analysis information, concepts, ideas, and issues. They also help ensure that information is understood and retained by stakeholders. As an example, there could be situations where you need to tap into someone's learning capabilities. So some may be visual, some learners may be auditory, some learners may be kinesthetic. So essentially, it's understanding your audience and how is your audience absorbing information and filtering the information. So the teaching is one of those core competencies that will help you as a business analyst get better at explaining um, things to folks. So the measures of effectiveness are utilizing different methods to communicate information to be learned by stakeholders, discovering new information through high levels of stakeholder engagement, validating that the audiences have a clear understanding of the key messages that are intended to be learned, and verifying that the stakeholders can demonstrate the new knowledge, facts, concepts, and ideas. So that is the last of the core competencies as part of the um, interaction skills. So before we end, let's summarize. Interaction skills are important and they represent, are represented by the business analyst's ability to, to relate, cooperate, communicate with different kinds of people. Core competencies take the form of facil facilitation sessions or facilitation um, uh, mediums, be it through email, be it through um, set meetings. Leadership and influencing, as I mentioned, leadership isn't just uh, involve being a CEO of a company or a vice president. It's essentially a skill set that these um, business analysts um, should have or adapt um, in order to uh, assist and aid and influence your um, stakeholders. Teamwork is, you know, you have to be a part of a team, make sure that you understand your team members um, and how to cohesively work together. Negotiation and conflict resolution, um, it's, it's a good skill to have so that when you're getting into different sort of conversations, if, as an example, two stakeholders are not um, 
on the same page, you're able to pull this tool set from your toolbox and help in that process of resolving or coming to a conclusion. Um, teaching, uh, I think, is one of uh, key things that a BA kind of embodies or can build or develop um, as they have the ability to kind of uh, convey their thoughts and ideas based on understanding who the audience is. So that being said, thank you so much for listening to this episode. Um, please do consider subscribing to this channel if you do find value. And also, please do consider visiting our website at beknowledgeshare.com. Until next time, thank you so much.